I feel uh, very proud. That's how Ted Turner, the man Atlanta loves to hate, summed up his feelings tonight, and he had a lot to be proud of. Cable News Network, a 24-hour marathon of current events, and Turner's baby for the past several years had its debut. 2.5 million homes across the country picked up CNN tonight. About 25,000 Atlantans have access to the network, and here's what they'll be watching for what Turner calls eternity. Lou, people are standing in line to see the sequel to Star Wars, but CNN's movie critic thinks The Empire Strikes Back can't match the original. Nine states gearing up for Tuesday's presidential primaries and a live report from CNN in New York. Stay with us. It's certainly going to provide a convenience, and because we're going to be on a lot longer, we'll be able to, uh, we're not going to be competing in local news with WSB. We're going to be uh, trying to cover national, international business and national sports news in greater depth than it's been done before. And it should just be a, a better service for people that want to know what's going on. Even brutally honest Ted Turner won't tell how much this venture is costing him. Some estimate he will spend over $30 million by the end of this year. One CNN official told me tonight's opening celebration cost somewhere around $30,000. It was all the food you could eat and booze you could drink. There are a lot of people who say Turner's dream can't survive. They say the public can't take 24 hours of news and that the cost of such an operation is just too much. And then there are those who wish Turner a lot of luck. I know Ted Turner personally as a fellow Georgian. I've known him for a long time. He's one of the finest and most competitive men I've ever known. And he is determined not to let this, uh, this new venture be anything but fully successful. From the Cable News Network Complex on Techwood Drive, I'm Cindy Glosier, Action News.